Well, it looks like a certain somebody is still living rent-free in Hillary Clinton's head. The former Secretary of State is making her most unhinged attack yet regarding the guy she lost to in 2016, and yes, she did lose. This is the quote she just came out with. Trump is like Gaga over Vladimir Putin because Putin does what he would like to do. Kill his opposition. Imprison his opposition. Drive journalists and others into exile. Rule without any check or balance. That's what Trump really wants. But is this the type of obsession with Donald Trump drowning out President Biden's message? Some Democrats and the media think so. Watch this. The problem for Joe Biden and for the, the Democrats is it's Trump is crowding out, the trial is crowding out everything mm. else. So Joe Biden goes out and does major policy things, but everything else is crowded out. And it's the Trump story. This is a guy that doesn't care if uh, he is the hero or the heel. He just wants to be the star. And in so many ways, uh, he gets what he wants. And when we're focusing on him, I, I do worry electorally uh, that he has a slight advantage. Kaylee, do you think so? Do you think Gavin Newsom saying something is a legitimate worry? Yes. Whereas, is, yes. Well, right. In what respect? Absolutely. Look, I remember 2016, and at the time I was at CNN, they were obsessed with Donald Trump. You might as well call it the Donald Trump channel and gave him maximum coverage. It's the same today. And I understand what you're saying, Marie, about you know the fact pattern of, of the case, despite being bogus. But we're not hearing from the witnesses in the case. We're hearing about what the witnesses are saying through reporters. We are hearing from Trump. And where other liberal networks used to not take his statements, they are now taking them in full. He has a megaphone. I, know, I watched it on CNN today. He has a huge megaphone. They're right. And what's the left doing? Hillary Clinton's comments, like taking the most extreme portrayal of him, which, by the way, Joe Scarborough um, made similar comments saying Trump said he'd execute generals. He never said that. The left can rest with extreme caricatures. Trump just needs to speak directly to the American people every chance he gets. But, but Dana, don't you think he should take it from the courtroom to do more bodega-like appearances, whether it's you know, uh, going yeah. to a supermarket, I like you said, with inflation? I think he's going to pick your battles. I mean, that's not going to... He can't do it every night. I mean, I, I, I sort of said last week, I would go... I'd pick a different grocery store every night and show the price of eggs. But he can't do that every night, because then... But it is a good idea. Old. That's But great. I do think he should do something in the evenings, like, let's go to get pizza served. What do you want to do? Like, get him out, get him into the city. When he was at the bodega, everyone was cheering for him. The little kids crying, like, oh, my gosh, I got to meet the president. Like, right. they were in incredible. Um, I think today he could have gone and done some solidarity with some Jewish students ah. at Columbia or, um, you know, gone to Yale. I and mean, it's not far. You can get to New Haven. The good news is it's not ending. <laughs> and I, well, and also, though, though it is Passover, so I know a lot, a lot of them are leaving and it's not ending. So, like, there are definitely ways that he could get involved. Um, what about going to a girls sporting event? and supporting them after Biden just changed Title IX, right? Or how about the fact that we had those migrants that were playing on the kids' soccer field Wouldn't this let weekend, the Manhattan kickers and the play. American kids are not allowed to play. Like, why, go, to the, go there and say, I'll make sure that you can play today. Like, so, yes, there's a, there are a lot of things that he could do. Um, what is weird is that the Hillary Clinton says that Donald Trump really wants the, the opposition to be killed. When House Democrats this week killed any opportunity for President Trump to have Secret Service protection, in the future, if he's convicted. If he's convicted. If he's convicted. And so th that also, um, I know like, that might just be a fringe part of the Democrats, but they voted for it, so I would, I would pay attention to that. I do think Hillary Clinton appearing on Mark Elias's podcast is just <laughs> fodder, right? Like, why would you do that? If you think Trump is in so much trouble, let him hang there by himself. You can have Biden go and do an event that, on Earth Day that nobody pays attention to, but who gets headlines? Who gets bad headlines for them? It's Hillary Clinton every single time. Mm. Crossfire hurricane reunion. That's what it was. And they just got a microphone <laughs> out. Uh, so why not have a rally in the Bronx? Why not book the garden and do something on a Friday night after your last court appearance? I, I do the garden. I do the Bronx. I do a gas station. I do the docks. Yep. I'd hit Staten Island. Mm -hmm. I'd go over to New Jersey. Staten Island loves him. Staten Island is Trump country. Mm -hmm. and, but the guy needs exercise. He's usually golfing. And so you're going to put a man who's almost 80 sitting in a room like this on his butt for all that time? It's not healthy. You know how big of a health nut I am. He needs sunlight, <laughs> and he needs activity. He needs to be walking around. He needs action. It's really cruel and unusual puni punishment to make a man do that. And anytime he moves, they threaten to throw him in prison. Hillary's saying, I mean, think about how far we've come. Mm. And I'm looking at you. I, I can feel it, Jesse. <laughs> they called Tr Bush a cowboy. I, that's that's kind of a compliment. Like, oh, a cowboy. Then they said McCain. The worst knock on him is that he wasn't black. Remember? I mean, they were. It was you were going to obviously lose to the first black president. And then Romney. What did he do? 
Uh, he had a car garage elevator. And then he said 47% of the country didn't really pay taxes. That was the worst. And they went from that to homicidal dictator. Right. It was... <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Right Marie. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Because the Republican Party went from normal to homicidal dictator. Who Democrats he, didn't who do did that. Who did he kill? Republicans did. And look. Who did he Hillary kill besides Soleimani? Hillary Clinton is not the perfect. Uh, voice out there, the Democrat. I agree, Dana. Like, I don't think she's the one that should be out there prosecuting the case against Donald Trump. But don't ignore what she's saying. I think the question facing voters is whether someone who flouts every ethical, political, legal norm that does things no other Republican. I mean, Mitt Romney would never do these things. I'm sorry that Donald Trump has to sit in court. It's because he has been accused of a bunch of crimes. That's his fault. Mm. And so what I would say is we also, Brian, know that voters care about this. In the latest polling, a large number of voters say the future of American democracy, our rights, our freedoms, that really matters to them. Marie, More than I, people Marie, think. I will say there is irony, though. Hillary Clinton on Mark Elias' podcast, the Steele dossier, disguised it as a legal <laughs> payment. They lied about it and had to pay a $130,000 fine. Hillary Clinton wasn't prosecuted in New York. Yeah, uh, along with her uh, documents. Yeah, because they took. didn't, they didn't right. indict it, her. All right. People don't want to see any presidential candidate, uh, man, man, woman, Republican or Democrat, in court. But the question is, how did he get there and does he, does he deserve to be there? Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.